Hello students, um, as promised, we're going to move on to play a second game in this, um, in this session. And we're going to be trying to use castling, of course, uh, promotion, and ampersand. But before we get to it, I would like to introduce a new concept. And that concept is the value of the pieces. So you need to know which pieces are better than which. That way it's easier for you to make decisions when it comes to trading down pieces. So should you trade one of your rooks for one of your opponent's knights or bishops or pawns or queens? So let's get to it. And first let me bring the pawn. So the pawn is going to be the least valuable piece in chess. And we're going to give the pawn one point. So now you know each one of your pawns is going to be one point. Now, who do you think is better, the pawn or the bishop, based on how many squares they could move and how good they could be um, during the game? So the bishop is obviously better than, than the pawn, but how much better? And, well, we say that the bishop is just as good as three pawns. So we can say that the bishop is going to be three points. Each pawn is one point. One bishop is the equivalent to three points. Now, how about the bishop or the knight? Who do you think is better? Well, some people might say the bishop. Um, some people like the knight better than the bishop. And this is something that even as you get more advanced, you're still going to have some, some trouble deciding if you like the bishop or the knight. But reality is that all you have to know is that they're both the same value. So the bishop is three points. The knight is going to be three points. Now, how about the rook? Is a rook better than the bishop uh, and the knight? Well, the rook, think about it this way. The bishop could move through only a set of squares. So this bishop, for instance, can only move through the light squares. The rook could access light squares as well as dark squares. So that makes the rook better than the bishop. So I'm going to leave the rook on the board. And now you know the rook is going to be actually five points. So the rook is just as good as five pawns together. So bishop is three points, knight is three points. And then we have the queen. So who do you think is better, the queen or the rook? Well, again, if you think how each one of these pieces move, the rook could move up, down, side to side. The queen could do the same thing as the, as the rook, but it could also move as the bishop. So for the queen, we say that the queen is equivalent to 7, 8, 9 points. So the queen is just as good as 9 points. So with that being said, let me bring all of the pieces on the board. And let's practice it this way. So pawns, 1 point each. Bishops, 3. Knights, 3. Rooks, 5. The queen, is nine and I didn't mention the king because for the king we say he's infinite like we don't give a point value to the king because you should know by now that we can never capture the king we have to put him in checkmate so it doesn't really uh, gets a, a point value we just say he that the king is infinite so you're going to see in this game that I'm going to play I'm going to be paying attention to my pieces and again if it could be a little bit confusing uh, the, the, the point value, you just have to know which piece is better than which, even if you don't know exactly how many points they are. Just know pawns are the least valuable piece. Bishop is, of course, better. Knight and bishop, they're the same. So if you ever have this situation where you have to trade one of your bishop for one of the knights, well, it's okay to do it because they're the same value or your knight for his bishop. But then you don't want to trade one of your rooks for one of their knights because, you know, your rook is going to be more valuable than the knight. And of course the queen is better than bishop, knight, rook or pawn. So with that being said, I'm going to do like last time. I'm going to find a robot to play with. Now this time I'm not going to choose level number one. I'm going to go straight to number three. And this time I want the robot to play with the black pieces. So let me see if I can Okay, here we go. Level number three, I'm going to be the white pieces. And I always like to start with the pawn in front of the king. So I'm going to move it two steps. 
Now, look, right away he's challenging my pawn. So I have the opportunity to take him, but if I don't do it, he could take me. So now I need to think, do I want to take him? Do I want to just move forward? Or do I want to stay here for him to take me? Well, I think I'm going to just move up. So no one is attacking my pawn. Now I'm going to develop my knight and bishop. This is something that we're going to be doing every time. There's three principles. Beginners have to do it. Uh, intermediate players have to do it. Elite player, players have to do it. We need to control the center of the board, develop the minor pieces, and castle. So I want to castle this way. So I'm, I'm going to start by moving this knight out of the way. So he moved the pawn. Now, can I castle? Well, not yet. The bishop is in the way. So I'm going to put the bishop somewhere where the bishop is safe. Uh, here he could take me. Here he could take me. Here he could take me. So that means I have only these two squares to move the bishop to. And I'm going to put it right here. He's pretty safe. Now, time to castle. My king is going to be safe and my rook is coming towards the center. All right. So with that done, I'm going to develop the other knight and the other bishop. So. I have the option to put this knight here or here, but remember, he wants to go towards the center, not towards the edge. All right, let me see. Now it's time to de develop the other bishop. And for that, I need to move this pawn. So I'm going to move the pawn two steps. Okay, now time to develop the bishop. And notice how uh, my opponent has only used one of his good pieces. Everything else has been pawns. So that's going to allow me to deploy all of my pieces and get to his queen faster. And to make things uh, worse for him, he has not even castled. So it's going to be easier for me to get to the king in the center. So I'm going to put my bishop right here. All right, he keeps moving pawns. Now let me see, how can I get to, how can I get to that king? Well, let me start by bringing my queen up. So I'm going to put my queen right here. So I only moved two pawns. All of the other pawns are on the same, in the same place. Okay, so he moved the bishop. He's ready to castle. Maybe he never does that. Hmm, let me see. Well, I think I'm going to start challenging his pieces. Okay, so he developed the bishop. Now, he could have taken me. He didn't. But now I'm going to take him. Now, this is a fair trade. If I take this pawn, he could take me right back. Pawn for pawn. Good deal. Now, what I don't want to do is I don't want to take the pawn with the knight. Because then I get one point, and when he takes back, he's going to be getting my knight, which is three points. So pawn takes pawn. He took me back, makes sense. Now I'm going to take this pawn too. Okay, so the bishop could have taken me, but that would be a fair trade, because then my queen takes right back. All right, now let me continue to attack. So I'm going to bring another pawn. Now I'm moving pawns now, because I need to make my way up to attack. So he knows I'm getting closer to him. Notice how he castled as well. So his king moves from here to here and the rook goes over it. All right, so maybe it's time for me to take this pawn. Okay, he, took, he did not take me back because then my queen could take the knight. So, oops, sorry, I did it by mistake and I lost my queen. So, well, this is going to make it more fun. I lost my queen, huge mistake. Look, if I go back, I took a knight that is only three points and I lost my most powerful piece. So he took me. Okay. Now this is going to be a long, long game. So let me continue to attack. You see, his king is not here anymore. If not, I was I would be getting really, really close to, to that king. Alright, so now he really wants my knight. Well, I think I'm gonna take this knight. Okay, he took me. I'm gonna take the bishop. And he takes me. Now pay attention to this next move. This is not a good move at this point, but what do you think is going to happen if my pawn gets to the end? Well, I'm going to be able to promote. I'm going to do it uh, to show you, but I know it's going to be bad because the moment I get my queen, either of these rooks could take me. But you're going to see. Now, I move there and it's asking me, do you want the pawn to become a bishop, knight, rook, or queen? I always get a queen, but now you see they took me right away. All right, so now I need to bring my rooks into the game, but I have to be smart because I know they're going to capture me. So this pawn is really important. I don't want to lose him. He could become a queen. Let me push him forward to protect him with the bishop. 
Okay, he's moving his pawn. Now, time to bring my rook. So he took me, all right. I'm gonna take the bishop, and he takes me back, yeah. All right, so time to bring my rooks down to attack. Oh, actually, I'm gonna put it right here. If I put the rook right here, I'm attacking the queen, attacking the pawn, and he should not take me because my pawn is going to be protected. So let's see. Yeah, he moved away. So this robot is way better than the one before. Um, okay, let me bring this rook behind the other rook. Now oh, he's not making any mistakes. Well, maybe it's time for me to attack the queen again. Yeah, he's running away. He's never gonna give me the queen for the rook. So let me try it again. He's moving away. If he took the, the rook, my pawn was going to take it right back. Okay, fair enough. So then let me go right here. He took me. I'm going to keep pushing my pawn. If I make it to the end, I could get a queen. He's doing the same thing with his own pawn. All right, this one is really, really good. So let me see. Let me see. Well, I think I can only go here to protect okay now he's blocking my rook that way my, my rook can not uh, become a queen um let me see what can i do well if i do a move like this he's just going to get his queen look and now it's going to be way more difficult for me to win this game so as you can see i haven't been able to do much because my queen is not on the board i don't have that uh that good piece but now he has two queens, so you're gonna see how he should be able to destroy me now that he has two queens on the board. So let me take the rook, rook for rook check. I have to move my king. Now he took me. Um, all right, let me see if my knight could help me out. Now my knight, no, he's not letting me take the queen either. Uh, let me go back to safety. He took my pawn. Maybe. Now, I don't want to get my king out there because he has two queens ready to destroy me. So I think I'm just going to move my knight back here. And look, it says game over, computer won. So why did the computer win? Well, this queen moved right here, attacking the king. That's check. And now let me do CPR. C means capture. Can I capture the king? No, because the other queen is keeping an eye on it. P means protect. No one can protect my king. And running away is not an option. Look. I can only go to these two squares and the queen is attacking both. So that's checkmate. This was 37 moves, believe it or not. And again, you can see how after I lost my queen, it was really, really hard for me to win the game. Now, we didn't get to see M passant in this game, but like I said in, in the last lesson, it's really it's not that common to see M passant. Uh, but we saw promotion and we saw castling. So let me go all the way back here just to quickly review the game. So I was controlling the center. He challenged me. I moved up instead of taking his pawn. I could have taken the pawn. I just decided to move up. Then I developed my knights, my bishops. I castled. So again, once I developed these two, my king could move one and two. And he castled. And b5. And... Again, even though I could have done better because I had better development and so on, I made the mistake to lose my queen. And I'm pretty sure at this point, all of you have made that mistake. You're not being careful enough with your queen. And that's okay. The more you play, the better you're going to get at, at these things. But for now, um, I hope you really understand castling and promotion. And of course, the value of the pieces. So I'll see you uh, next class. And... We're going to be discussing something a little bit more, more advanced. So until next time.